This video uses Fluid Math to quickly create handouts with graphs in them. So I've, I've got Word running, and if I start my handout, let's say uh, um, Quiz, and now I want to create some graphs. Uh, I want to have graphs with line, equi with line plots on them, and I'm going to ask the students to um, write the equation, the line equation that represents the graph, the line in the graph. So, so the, the task is uh, write a line equation in um, slope intercept form for each of the graphs line sorry line plots below okay so first one will be now <clears throat> I've got fluid math running so I'm going to switch applications to fluid math and handwrite a line equation so let's say y equals 2x plus 1 I can create a graph of this with a quick gesture. This little hook will create a graph. And I'm going to zoom in here to get, get a view that I want. Let's make this a little bigger. Um, okay, there's a number of controls for interactively manipulating the view of the graph, and that's going to be explained in a separate video. But now I've got the graph I'm interested in. So I can go to the menu here and choose um, Copy Graph to Clipboard. Okay, so now I'll jump back to the other application by hitting Alt-Tab. I'm in Word now, and I'm going to click on Paste. And I've got my graph. Okay, so let's go on to the second problem. Now I hit Return. I've got a 2 here at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to go back to Fluid Math, and I'm just going to change the math here. So let's say minus 2x. I'm going to write in a minus before in the graph updates. I'll go to uh, the menu again and copy graph to clipboard, switch applications again and hit paste. This time I just hit control V to paste it in. Hit return, go back to the uh, fluid math. Now let's make this a little harder. I'm going to change this to, to 7x uh, minus 2. Maybe with this view it's hard to see, so I'm going to zoom back a little students should be able to see um, that it passes through the point 0 minus 2. And it's, I want to show the 5. Okay, so we have the 5 in the y-axis so they can see that point and then the other point. So let's copy this graph to the clipboard and come back. Okay. And you get the idea, you can continue doing this. You could replace the, the math with something more complicated. Let's say uh, 2 sine x uh, minus 1. Okay, we'll give them a hard one. Let's put this on. You can change the um, axis style here. Let's, let's make, I want to see, uh, there, I want to see radians along the x-axis. So I've right-clicked on the axis and chose change the axis style. Okay, let's just paste this last one in. So copy graph to clipboard and paste. Of course, this doesn't fit with the original question, but I just wanted to demonstrate a different kind of math plot. Okay, that concludes this video.